Hello everyone and welcome back to Antarctica and Antarctica and welcome back to of course New Beginnings Beach. Uh, we started in the last episode by building what will be like the, the beginning of Antarctica so to speak like where everything will start where everything will originate from uh, which by the way I should add this one so we can clearly see where every single area is. I'm just curious to look at the transportation map. Yeah, look, since we've added some ferries now, uh, the ferry routes are now up and going. It looks pretty diverse, so this is a good start, I think. Um, if you don't remember anything else, in the last episode we started like the beginning town, as I said, and right now we're finally on the surplus. We were finally on the surplus. <laughs> we aren't anymore for some reason. Come on, people. Show me, show me. I want to earn money. Okay, whatever. It's not that important to earn money just yet. Uh, we still have a lot of funds over from our start. So, uh, what we're going to do now then, to just make sure that we keep earning money, is that we're going to build a few more residential areas. So, we truly, truly, truly know that we make money. Because that's like... Once we do that, we can start expanding our city way more. I think uh, it's still... It's still residential. That's like the biggest... Um, thing that our people want. They want to move in more people here, which is great. But it also means we have to have room for them, so let's build that. I was hoping that it would be more residential, but there hasn't really been. Um... In this area, there are some low-level residential, like, car dealerships and stuff. I hope that will eventually changes so we get a few more exciting items here. But it can wait until further notice. Um, boom, boom, boom. Free community gardens by the railway. Hopefully this place will be kind of popular to live at because it's so close to the rail station, but who knows. Yeah, it worked out. And finally, we're earning money! That's the most important thing. <laughs> I was uh, talking about in the last episode that either we should build a school or we should build a small health medical clinic. Because um, that's like the two most or biggest complaints right now, I think. Seems to lacking in life uh, span. And somebody earlier said, um, Well, where does my kid or where are my kids supposed to go to school? They don't have a school here. Which is completely correct. Ooh, look, our trees are starting to grow up. How cute. And how messy. But whatever. As you might see here, our traffic situation is really good, but everything else is bottom of the barrel. Uh, I think we're gonna go with building either an elementary school. Let's see, that's a monthly cost of 400. And that's a monthly cost of 400. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do an elementary school. Education first. I'm gonna be a teacher, so let's um, make sure our sims are being taught well. Of course, that puts us in a great minus here, but... Um, if you just watch the local funding, it should be fine. So just let time go over here for a bit. And then let's see, okay. That is actually fine, yeah. Our education uh, graph here would go up a bit now, hopefully. We should also plant a bit more trees here, I feel, so... We should also while perhaps build a few more trees down here in by the industrial area because that's where the biggest problems with pollution are so if you just build enough trees here then maybe it won't be so bad in the long run hopefully building a huge forest here would be a great thing of course once again it costs a bit of money but we want to make beautiful cities don't we people yes we do so yeah Education keeps going up, and that's great. Uh, hopefully it goes up even more than that. And we have quite a few open places here now for building industrial areas, which is also great, because that means we can... We don't have to worry about that for a while longer. I hate worrying about industrial areas, because industrial is, like, my least favorite part of a town ever. But whatever. Let's just add way more, many, 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 many more trees here. 
I want these guys to be swimming in trees when everything is done. If possible, at least. There we go, that should be enough for a little while. Uh, do we still earn money, by the way? We even went to school? Not yet. But, as you might see right now, there is a bigger... Ooh, this is interesting. We have enough population now. We've actually had enough population for a long while. I'm not sure why we just got the chance right now, but whatever. Sims look to heaven, but call mayor. Mayor, New Beginnings Beach has become a burgeoning community of more than a thousand Sims, and those spiritually minded Sims are requesting a gathering place to express their non-worldly concerns. Please consider their petition for a house of worship in New Beginnings Beach. Um, I'm not 100% sure what a house of worship actually does. All I know is that I think it raises the value of the place around it. And since we want more commercial area, let's place it in the commercial area. At least I don't think there's any negative things about placing a house of worship. I think it's just positive. Let's see here. It should be... Okay, it doesn't say that it gives anything special, but hopefully it does. If not, I'm not going to build it. There's no point in actually building more than you have to. Uh, I'm still a bit worried, though, that we're not earning money. Usually at this point in the game, we're earning a bit of money, at least. But uh, it seems to be more difficult now. Let's see if we can help things move along here by making transportation a bit easier. Is anyone actually using this? Oh, actually, this just went up just a bit when I looked at it. That's pretty cool. What about the monorail? Still nobody. It will happen eventually. I think it is, I, I still think it's a good idea to do that in the start. Okay, uh, Hagar Topeka has moved. Um, what is kind of curious to see, like, he works at the bus stop over there. Okay, that's interesting. How does people actually travel is very interesting to see sometimes. Most people take the road here, apparently. That's kind of sad. Does anyone travel by train? A few people do. Maybe because the train station isn't close enough? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. If you work at the bus station, why not take the bus to work? Am I right? I am right. Hey, why are we without... Oh, power. There, that's why. Maybe that's nobody. why nobody uses the ferry anymore. <laughs> poor little ferry and poor mayor. <laughs> oh, that was loud. Uh, I want to extend our city a bit more again. With even more resident residential areas. These people will have a hard time. No, they won't. Because I'll add a trail station right here. Okay, that's much better. I was about to say that these people have a hard time getting to work, but actually they will have an easy time because there's a rail railway station that close, so... Problem solved before it even existed. Can't I build anything out here? Let's see. What if you just continue out here, though? Can you? No, you can't. Apparently there's too much water right here, so let's do it like this. Brilliant. How pretty is that? Super pretty. Okay, and of course we gotta park it up a bit. Let's do like a baseball field. We haven't had one of those yet, so people have a place to go to. Okay, one, two, three, move in! Okay, it actually kind of worked. I'm surprised. Uh, we still don't have any water. That's gonna be a serious problem after a while. Because water is required to... Oh, we need to fund it more. Thank you for reminding me. Of course, as the city grows, then we have to have more power. So, let's increase the funding by a few da simoleons. That should be fine. It's starting to look pretty heavily populated here. It looks like the suburbs in America, you know? Which I always thought was incredibly fascinating. <laughs> the idea of, like, having suburbs. Looks kind of pretty. But, uh, once again, like, uh, the buildings don't really grow in size here right now because... Oh, hey, hello. 
Uh, because they're not power or they're not watered. Uh, because water costs so much, usually. It doesn't though, does it? It doesn't cost as much as I feared when I was watching it now. So maybe we should actually go for it. You know what? Let's be crazy. We still have a lot of money to go on. And hopefully with some water uh, attached here, more sins will move in. So I'm having like a, I'm hoping right now that also water also greatly increases industry as far as I remember, at least high level industry. Like there's no way we're going to get this, a lot of good industry people in here without water. So let's see now, we just attached water to the entire town. Let's see if it changes quite a lot of um, areas here. Yeah, see, immediately, immediately high density areas starting to show up. That's great. Let's see here. Grave need and beginning new beginning speech. The house of worship has made a fine addition to new beginning speech. Spiritual life mayor, and as a result, our sims have developed a keen sense of the hereafter. <laughs> now they're requesting a dignified cemetery be built in town. I don't think we should risk any angry visitations from ghostly entities. Do you? No. So let's do it. I see a lot of open area down here. Maybe we can that hasn't been built on yet. Ooh, it's pretty big. Uh, whatever, we didn't need a grave anyway, or graves to go to, and hopefully by forcibly tearing down those houses, they will consider moving into, like, more tightly dense areas. Because we desperately need that right now. Oh, and I totally forgot we need to reduce the monthly spending on the water pump. Because, as you see, we don't use merely enough water for to justify having it. I think we can do that, can't we? Damn, we use 350 simoleons per month on this. Um, I don't really quite remember right now how to reduce... Maybe we can't. So, I guess maybe we should just see... If people move in enough here, maybe we eventually can earn money on this. On having... And justify having a fully powered... Water... Water pump. It seems like we can. We're closing in on the monthly expenses now, so that's great. Bigger schools, a solution for bigger... Big crowding problems. Mayor, I'm pleased to present to you the culmination of months of design effort. A new, high-capacity elementary school. A big city like ours needs big solutions. So if we're an economic economy of scale, we can now accommodate and many times as many students in a single facility than ever before. Educated the masses and mass. Uh, unfortunately, this is way too expensive for us right now. Speaking of which, the teachers are threatening to strike, so I guess we need to fund our schools a bit more. That's always a problem when we have like more and more population is that we start spending more and more electricity and we start having more and more students, we start having more and more patients. Like there's a lot that you have to keep control of. Let's see here. Mayor, a well-oiled city is a thing of beauty, but left in isolation, even the best cities can stagnate. Stagnate. As it needs new markets, the exchange of ideas and outside business to stay fresh. You know where I'm going with this? Create some neighboring cities on the region map. Then connect up our roadway and railways and get ready for a new round of industrial investment exchanges. Which is a good idea. We'll do that eventually. I just wanted to really make sure that I was happy with this town first and it was making money. That is like a good start that has kind of um, everything in a way. Everything in a single town. You have industry, you have residential, you have commercial. Because eventually I think I'm going to start centering industrial areas by themselves in towns, because that makes it quite easier with pollution, because you see, we have problems with pollution over here. And that's not good. Let's see here. High capacity learning, or high capacity high schools for high efficiency learning. New beginning speech has grown and grown. And grown! With so many residents, with so many kids, that's a lot of sense to educate. So my fellow instructors and I got together and came up with plans for a new mega high school facility. We'll be able to tutor to tons of teens at the same time with this baby. Next time you're thinking of building a new high school, consider this educating in bulk. Uh, the thing is, it's also super expensive. It's a great thing for big uh, cities, but for us, not right now. Thank you for the suggestion, but not right now. We need to once again increase the funding for the power plant, though. Because, as you see, we like our um, area where people live has grown quite a lot lately uh, in density. And that's going to keep growing since we have water, so 
This area is too, that you see, which has like... Is there even a house here? Yes, there's like one two-story mansion. That's uh, a waste of space at this point. We really want them to... To get more dense, and that will cost a lot more electricity, it will be cost a lot more water, but water is not a problem right now, luckily. Flood of water buildings calls for a high volume solution. Water, water, water. Every, every day the need for more water grows. While we could provide a profusion of pumps or a ton of water towers to supply this demand, how about we consider a new high capacity water pump? In a single edifice, or whatever that means, we could slake the first of a fa a dozens of smaller structures. Costly? Sure. But the flood of riches to be gained could keep new beginning speech afloat for years to come. Not gonna happen, buddy. Too expensive. There we go. No. Ooh, look at this. Oh, strike it to school again. Fine. Wow, it was really expensive to have this such a big city. Now we're starting to get really like high density areas, like uh, tenements or whatever you or you say that. That's a lot of people. Uh, I'm afraid that we, yeah, look at our demand charts right now. Uh, we really need some more industries here. Because people are without jobs soon. There's like no more jobs to get here, so... We need to give our peoples some, or people some jobs so they stay happy. Even though we have chosen kind of a weird place to build an industrial area, hopefully it will be good enough for them in the long run. They will be happy even though it's kind of weird. Doo -doo. Such pretty music, I like it. Should build some new industries there. Yeah. Woo. Good. Industry, of course, is also a huge money maker. Like, there's a reason why the industry in general is so negative. It's because um, it creates a lot of money. So once again, we have so many people now in our city that they want yet another house for the newly devout. That's pretty incredible. Our people are truly religious, it seems. Mayor, you may think they're just splitting hairs, but our spiritual sims are definitely splitting up. A branch of divinity students from the original church wants to break out and start their own house of worship. Do you approve the erection of the new house or new front for these followers? Sure, I do. I'm all for religious freedom and stuff, so let's um, build it right next to the other church on the other side. Like, <laughs> yeah, and people are running over here. Oh, they're very inclusive. I have never noticed that, but they actually a person there in a wheelchair. That's so cute. Do we have any zombies yet? Sometimes there's like zombies in the graveyard. It's really creepy. And they look like zombies from The Sims 1, which makes it even creepier. No zombies. That's good. Let's keep Antarctica zombie free. There was nothing creepy saying in that ice all, all those years. Okay, wow, look at this. We're earning a lot of money. I didn't realize before now. But we're also starting to grow, get in some troubles here with the pollution, as you might see. Like, look at the water here. Oh no, that's just sand. Never mind, <laughs> I thought that was pollution. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that's just uh, the way it's supposed to look. Whoops. But let's expand our industry even more, because I think that's our biggest problem right now, is that there's not enough industry places to go around. Boom, 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 boom. Once again, I know I don't really make pretty towns. Hopefully that will change eventually when I get into like a bit more controlled areas. Because right now it looks really ugly, but you know, it's the first town, so we're gonna allow it to be ugly. Not everything has to be so pretty and perfect. We should also add some freight train stations where uh, manufacturing people can sell off their goods. That's actually really important in the long run. They will start complaining if they don't get that, so let's just get that already. I mean, eventually we will start populating the areas around this place, so... Cool. 
good. That should be pretty good. Let's see if there's more industrial industrialization of new beginning speech. Look, a lot of crazy. Oh, we're, we're all running out of power. Stop, 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 stop. Full capacity. It's pretty crazy. We already soon almost need a new power plant. We do need a new power plant. Crazy. Okay, we're actually, wow, we're at 15,000 inhabitants already. That's pretty impressive, or 14,500, but still. Mayor, new beginning speech is percolating like it's caffeine charges. What is percolating? But there's no place for the city stewards to gather and consider city business. Now's the time to build a nice city hall so we can hang those portraits of the old timers and give our governing the, governing the dignity it deserves. We will do that eventually, but right now we don't have enough money. <laughs> Wow, business is really growing here. I wonder how this will affect our power plants. Because we... We're running out of capacity here. That's one problem with having... Oh, look at this. We're already having tall buildings. I am such a success. Look, that's crazy. I want to make this historical. I always do that with a few buildings uh, around here. And this is pretty cool because it's like my first high-rise building. Or it could be the other one, but I'm going to keep this one. And we're going to call it the... Um, Abiding manner in honor of my username. And stop complaining, school! We're gonna build a new one eventually. Right now, I'm a bit in a panic mode because our city grew so much in such a short time. So, relax! But fine, we're gonna... We're gonna have to... We have to have police soon. We're gonna have to have fire, more firefighters soon. So, I mean, give, me, give it a rest, lady. We already have a school, at least. We should have libraries too. Ah, so much to think about. Um, but, you know what? I'm a sucker for education. Once again, I am a teacher. I need to have... Let's see how many... But we still have money left over though for like a... Ah, oh, this place is so pretty. Okay, I keep talking about everything right now. We need some healthcare soon. Um, and a hospital would probably be the way to go soon. What I think I'm gonna do is raise the taxes just a bit. And hopefully that will earn us some more income. It's pretty evenly be shared with what we earn money from. Uh, between residential and industrial. Yeah, it's only like one simoleon different. And of course we earn nothing almost from commercial since we have so few commercial areas. But. Commercial uh, demand is on the rise, though, so we need to build some more commercial blocks eventually, but not right now. I do really want a hospital soon. Hospitals are great for great for cities, of course. Uh, that's like the most obvious thing ever said. But the reason... What's up with those cars? Do you see those? What do you expect will happen when you drive out into the... Oh, what's up with those cars? Why does that keep happening? Weird. Weird. <laughs> that is really weird. Okay, I was talking about having a hospital. Uh, I think I should build maybe a hospital here, but we're running out of money. But what we're gonna do is that we're gonna build one. No, oh, we're not gonna build two! No, 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 get away! No, we just messed up everything. We spent a lot of money on nothing and broke down a few bill or tore down a few buildings there. That's not cool. That's really bad. Damn it. Okay, whatever. As in, like, I'm hoping that there won't be too many patients here. Oh, God, there's a lot of patients. Okay, apparently our education rating is high enough that we could actually build a university right now. That's pretty cool, but universities are super expensive. And I usually save them for, like, larger cities so we can make enough money to justify having one. But, yeah. Pump and Circumstance, Herald's University, Arrival. Your attention to educational issues and the sterling intellectual climate and new beginning speech hasn't gone unnoticed, Mayor. You've been chosen by the academic consortiums or something to host a beautiful new university where Sims first for knowledge and can now get free refills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop complaining. I will give you more funding. I think. Yeah, we will. Like, the more things we offer, the better. 
Burying feet could save or burying feet first could save room, but alternative preferred. Mayor, it seems like you're packing them in at our new cemetery. Dying to get in, you might say. Anyway, it's filling up fast, and we can't have any bodies sitting above ground for not too long. Prudence dictates that we should build in another cemetery. Just to have the imagery complete of having like a safe and sound okay. I was hoping that we could have it next to the hospital so people would be scared of going in there, but no. We're just gonna build it opposite of a few residential areas then so it's nearby people. Um okay, I was hoping that yeah, people are moving in here. We're soon earning money again. Okay, we're starting to struggle. Uh right now it's difficult to upkeep the city without uh, by the way, these power lines look super ugly, so we're gonna tear them down. Right now, the city is connected through these buildings, so it's fine. Um, we're gonna give it a rest now, we'll call this an episode. Now there's pollution here, by the way. Right? I mean, look at that, it's pretty different. And that just has to be. Uh, right now we're gonna call it an episode, and in the next episode we'll expand to the other areas here, instead of just having... Uh, or just playing a new beginning speech. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to sell some electricity from the other town to new beginning speech. Uh, that will help us quite a bit, I think. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for following me. Uh, hopefully, we'll start a new town. And once again, if you have any suggestions as to what to call new towns or something, then keep me updated. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.